Tommy, so, wow, a brilliant win. I think we attacked very well. We, we defended very well at the death there. You must be very pleased. Very pleased. I mean, obviously, we had to play the last, I don't know, what was 15, 20 minutes, including the added time, with only 10 men. And that's against the side who do dominate a ball in every game they play. Whether they dominate in the right places, for my liking, is, is not my business. But when the ball came into the areas that we needed to defend, I thought the lads, to a man, every one of them, um, put their bodies on the line and thoroughly deserved the win. You know, at the end of the day, it's... Um, we scored three really good goals, and it's it's what each each game in this division is a different puzzle, and they are certainly different to anything we've played so far. And credit to them, they try and play pure football, but it is about putting the ball in a goal, and uh, we've managed to do that three times as well as, in my opinion, should have kept a clean sheet. But um, I don't want to comment on that. Obviously, the first one was scored by Ryan Glover, someone who's you know not not started many games this season so far. So, are you pleased with the reaction to, to that coming into the starting eleven today and, and getting his goal and, and playing well? Yeah, I mean, listen, Ryan's a bundle of energy. He's, he's, he's a great kid. He's a young kid as well. People don't remember that, but but he's had to be patient to get a start, um, and he's probably in a position he probably didn't even expect it uh, to be. But I think he's got qualities that we can enhance him as a as a player. Um, because he's very much forward thinking, a bit like Tyler. But you know, missing missing Stu and Theo um, and Tommy Willard, that's that's big people were missing there. You know, they are part of the plan as well. Um, so I'm, I'm absolutely delighted. I mean, to have scored three goals at home um, and three before the before reply is is a really good achievement. And we really deserve the win. Josh Stokes coming in with two. He, he's he's some player, isn't he? Is he? <laughs> yeah, he's all right. <laughs> Not, not get tight-lipped on that one, are we? I think we've got some really good footballers at the club. I think we've got what we've got. We've got honest lads who really want to work their tails off, and he's he's a great example of that. He's young, he's energetic, he's technically a good footballer, um, but he's been out there for everybody else to see for quite a t quite a time, and I'm delighted that he's he's uh, he's here with us. And he'll only grow. He's got to be managed. He's got to be looked after because, like I said, he's literally only just 19, lad. Um, so yeah, I'm delighted for him, but I'm also delighted for the other for the other lads. I thought the forwards in general worked their tails off today. It's a tough it's a tough game to to play against a side as open as what uh, Wilston play from the back, um, and it's about conserving your energy for the right time. I think we could have gone in more than the, the one nil. Was it one nil at half time? More than the one that we scored in, uh, in the first half. So yeah, I think all in all, I'm delighted. I'm just I'm gutted for the the group that we didn't keep a clean sheet because I thought the performance merited it. And Hadi um, obviously had to come off. Is, is that uh, the same injury he had, or doing? It's too early. We don't know. I mean, it's it's a shame for him because he's worked so so hard, the lad, and he's come from nowhere to get right in my face with his performances in training. So um, I'm I'm gutted for him. I mean, I'm, I'm fingers crossed in my pocket here, the hoping it's not serious, whatever it is. But you know, Liam will look after him best we can, um, and hopefully we can. We can fix them and get them back on the pitch as quickly as we can. And obviously, you speak a lot about the home record. And it, it, you know, I don't. You do. <laughs> yeah. It's great to send the fans home with a smile on their face. I'm delighted. I've just said to the players there. Do you know what? As, as a footballing entity today, at times we didn't play as well as I think we've played in every other game I've been here. However, the fact we scored three goals and we showed the determination and the grit to stay ahead in the game when everything and everybody was seemed to be against us. Um, that's what really, really pleases me, and I thought not just the East Bank, the whole of the the, the ground who stayed behind to, to clap the boys and, and ourselves off. Massive thank you, and I hope a lot of them come down to Eastleigh because we need their support down there too.